Over the years, working with clients who want to get started investing in real estate, either with buy and hold rentals or with flips, the number one problem I've seen is that most people lack the confidence to actually pull the trigger and buy their first deal. Now, in my experience, this is almost always tied to one of two things, either underanalyzing or overanalyzing. If you haven't taken the time to sit down and really run the numbers to understand what all of the expenses are going to be, and you can't properly analyze a property in terms of what the monthly net cash flow would be for a rental, or what the net profit would be for a flip project, then you're naturally going to approach the situation with the fear of buying a bad deal that could end up losing money instead of making money. The solution, of course, is to learn how to properly analyze a deal, which we're going to cover in next week's video. Once you understand how to look at a property based on income and expenses, rather than just paint color and type of flooring, then you'll have the confidence needed to buy your first investment property with an expectation of the likely return on investment that you could see. Now, unless of course you start struggling with overanalyzing. Now this usually presents itself as a fear of better options. I've had numerous clients over the years who desire to be a real estate investor, but they can't quite seem to pull the trigger on buying a rental property that would produce, let's say $200 a month in cash flow, simply because they're afraid there's another property out there somewhere that might come along that would have produced 205 or 210. They've looked and looked and they've ran the numbers on countless properties, but they've never quite found the one that was the home run deal that they're looking for. And meanwhile, property values continue to rise and the investors that actually pull the trigger, they bought something that's now benefiting them with cash flow, appreciation and tax benefits. While I certainly would never encourage someone to buy a bad deal, keep in mind that your first investment property doesn't need to be a home run. It's far more important to get started so that your money can spend more time compounding. If you have any questions at all about real estate investing, or if you're ready to get started and buy your first deal, then reach out to us by phone or email and we'll connect you with one of our top agents. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next week.